some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Birmingham, Alabama with Mick Rusty and wife, otherwise known as Georgia Transparency and Lana from J-Town Press as they attempt to audit a privately run business they think is a government agency. Oh boy, Rusty, you claim to do all your research, but yeah, you didn't seem to do it in this particular occasion. So uh, that doesn't look too good on you now, does it, my boy? And as a result of your stupidity, you ended up getting trespassed from that building. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and relive this rather inspirationally funny and stupid moment in good old Rusty Boy's life, shall we? this one already it sounds like she's the type of person who won't take the bs that these two have to offer oh boy it sounds like they're gonna be in for a bit of a bumpy ride at least with her but let's carry on shall we yeah, no, we don't, we don't roll like that. that. We don't roll like that. that. We don't. We know. This, this lobby is for everybody in this office, and so when somebody comes in, you're welcome to admit, sign in, validate your parking if you parked in the deck. But, I don't know, you know, so you take it how you want it. The camera takes it how you put it. And then that's fine with me. Oh, well, when you're with the press, then you sign in. Is that a and law? You go up. No, ma'am. Is that a law? Damn. <laughs> no, is that a law? Those offices are private offices going up to she would come back down. No, no, is it a law to sign in? Yes, it is. Oh, it's a law to sign in? Uh -huh. Okay. This is going to be a key moment right here as Russell is going to continuously reference this point because he didn't listen to what she actually said. She said it is a requirement that they sign in because, well, this is a privately run building. But you know how frauditors are. Uh, they tend to lie and build a narrative about them being persecuted. So let's go ahead and listen to that brief clip again and make sure that we all understand that this idiot is a damn liar. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. What law is it? So sorry to interrupt this land meeting, but, um... What's going on? You wouldn't know. You just walked in here like you run. Well, we kind of do run. Our tax money pays for this, doesn't it? No. <laughs> this is a private enterprise. Make sure this is a there. private? Catherine, there's some people wandering around. Please send security. Do whatever you have to do. There's going to be a lady coming up to your office. I did not. She has not signed in. She's got a camera. Please call someone for me. Because I tried to office. I can't even see. Thank you. I'm not sure. Hello. Hey, how you doing, ma'am? I'm fine. How are you? I'm good super. Office. Thanks for oh, asking. Good. What can I do for you? Um, I don't need you. Yeah. Uh, who are you? I'm sorry. Right um, who are you? Um, who am I? Yeah, you yeah, what, asked me if I, if I needed help. I don't know who you are. I'm Kim Hunt. Oh, okay. And what do you do here? I'm the VP of communications. Oh, cool. Yeah. What, what, what are you all 
what, what can we do for you? Are you looking for information? I don't need your help. Go in the public area. She oh, just kind of, yeah, yeah, she just. I was looking at your art. So so right are, you, oh, okay. are you her supervisor? No. Do you know who her supervisor would be? Is there something that you need from us? Her supervisor? Yeah, you can provide me with her supervisor's information. Yeah, eight till three. Okay. And then we'll use A in after ten o'clock. We'll Are you all subject to the uh, Alabama public uh, records law? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah, eight, eight, and then, and then we're happy the to help you with information. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's her what supervisor. Yeah, her supervisor. Well, right now it's what we're requesting. Yeah. Okay. You asked if we need help. Her supervisor's name is Paulette Maddox. Okay. And what's her title? She is the VP of Human Resources. Oh, okay, yeah. cool. Okay. Yeah. Do you have an email address by chance? Um, it's P Maddox. Is it on the internet? I'm not sure. Okay. Probably it may be, but it's P. Dot com. Excellent. Why did she? Why did she call the police and security? I'm, I'm not sure. Mrs. Barton's on her way. Hold on a second. She's coming. Okay, thank you, ma'am. She's confident. I love confidence. I do too. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm so sorry. Who are y'all no, with? No, that's okay. Who are y'all with? Delta Airlines? No, no, no. Yeah, Delta. Who are y'all with? Uh, press. Are, we, are you giving tours? I'm sorry. Press. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. They're not. They won't. Do they refuse mm -hmm. to sign in. We did. Okay. All right. Oh. Are you her supervisor? I am. Is it, a, is it a law that I have to sign in? Um, we do request that visitors sign in. Oh, okay, okay, but, but what I meant is, is, but what I meant, is it a law? No. No, no, is it a law to sign in? Yes, it is. Sign in. Oh, that is so sneaky of you. How dishonest of you, uh, Rusty boy. Here's what she actually said. Yes, it is. Oh, Yes, it is. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, it was very sneaky. Kind of like a Pearl Harbor. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, but, but what I meant is, is, but what I meant is it a law? No, okay. no, right. it's not a law. But we request that individual sign in. Okay. Yeah. So. Oh, I'm sorry. Who are you all here to see? You're with Kim? No. 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 Okay. Okay. They won't tell me who they're, they're with. Free press. Yes. Is that the name of the organization? No. You're her supervisor. Oh, really? Okay. Yes, I am. Okay. She needs some. She needs. She, she needs some customer service training. No, she doesn't. In fact, I think she did an excellent job of trying to put these two assholes in their place for being in a spot they weren't exactly supposed to be in to begin with. So I give her a good pat on the back for that. Okay. And uh, and she informed me that it is actually against the law to not sign in on that book. Yes, it is. Oh, and therefore you've informed me that uh, that is not a law. And she kind of flipped out and called police, which it must not be a big deal because they're not here yet and everything. So um, she needs some customer service training. Okay. Okay. And everything. So what else can we do to help you all? Nothing. I don't need any help from y'all. I never needed any help from anybody to begin with until um, okay, Miss Vivian made a Miss made a scene. Because if there's something you're you're after, if you can let us know what that is. Are you just here to visit? Are you? I'm just here. Okay. You know, this video is almost an hour long, so let's just go ahead and skip past uh, most of the circular reasoning bullshit that uh, Rusty Boy puts out and get to the point where the cops begin to show up. Because you know what? He's like, oh, the cops aren't here, so it must not be very important. Uh, well, dude, they do show up. 15 minutes later. Good, how are you? Okay, so for your filming, that's only allowed in the public areas, and our offices are not considered public areas. I'm not in your office. This is one of, this is the DAA reception office. And hey guys, if y'all would, step outside this way for me, please. Because this is an area y'all can't record. Step outside for me. Uh, okay. Is it, it's not public? No. Oh, okay. They said it was public, though. This, this is public. I was, I, was wait, I was actually waiting on service for her. That's fine. Yeah, just step outside for me. If I don't, what's going to happen? The what? That's what happens if I don't. I'm just, just asking you to step outside. This is a public area. I'll tell you what. I'm asking you to step outside for me. One of the BAA supervisors is going to explain to you where y'all can and can't record. Okay. This, this is wide open. This is, is this area? No, just step outside for me. Well, I, who am I talking to? You or? You were talking to him. But this is airport authority, right? 
I'm Birmingham Police. I'm this is Airport Authority. This is this is the administrative office. Yes. Listen, listen, listen. He's explained to me now. He's already said it. This is the airport. Well, let's go ahead and skip Lana's uh, recap on the whole situation and get to a better part of the video where uh, the officer talks about frauditors. And he does use that word frauditors. So let's roll that beautiful bean footage. A little longer than a few minutes later. Do y'all have, you said you have a supervisor in route? Yes. Okay. Yes, uh, yeah, we need a supervisor here. Oh, yeah, we definitely need a supervisor. Yeah. He doesn't, I don't think he really knows what he's talking about. I don't know. Who are you talking about? What, what, what is this all about? Huh? What is this all about? They're frauditors. They want to you know, take people what they do and then, then oh. put on uh, something. Yeah, they want to. Uh, what they do is they videotape in public and they go to the point where they oftentimes they'll call it the news ends, get people to get riled up and it makes for good well, video okay. and then they make money. Did you just accuse me of being a fraud? Well, that officer is pretty much spot on right there, so he must watch a lot of anti-auditor videos to begin with. I wonder who he watches. I wonder if he watches uh, Dummy Kruger, uh, Frauditor Troll, Dr. Dave, uh, Frauditor News Network, or any of those other guys. I mean, who, who knows at this point? But, Rusty Boy... You are a fraud overall. I mean, that's all you do is just go around committing acts like this, trying to get the people riled up for your videos. Essentially, yeah, you are a fraud. Simply because of one fact alone is that people who try to post your videos, uh, you do try to take them down. So you're not about the First Amendment uh, at all. And that is one reason why you are a fraud. What well, well they work we work for Birmingham operations. Delays in their work. We work for we work for Birmingham operations. That's disturbing. Hey Officer Lewis. Officer Lewis. A camera can't be disturbing. I ain't talking to you. I know. I got mine running too. So maybe. Yeah, I know. But nobody freaks out when you have yours running. I, I, well, I ain't freaking out because y'all got Well, no, no, not you. I'm saying the lady back there did. We're talking the lieutenants and route to the airport. But what, what I'm saying is this is stop enough. If some emergency break out right now. We got him dealing with this. and We got a lot of other stuff to do. Then go do it. No, no. Like, go I'll, do your I'll, stuff. I'll do what I do, sir. Yeah, but go do your stuff. Time, I said this. So, I stated it. And I'm saying it again. So, if emergency so, got up, if they call us, we have to respond. So, yeah. If you call me, I have yeah, to respond. you have to respond. So, don't tell me, but go do that. Oh, officer, you're just going to have to forgive Rusty Boy. He's got this little thing that he likes to do. He likes to try to bully and manipulate people into submitting to his will and make them lick his boots and everything like that. But when it comes right down to it, he's just a big old man-child that, well, just wants to get his way, and if he doesn't, he just uh, throws a temper tantrum. But let's just go ahead and skip to another part of the video because there's still 30 minutes left at this particular point and we're not gonna sit here all this time. Five hours later. This officer keeps inching closer to me and I'm standing here. I'm not breaking the law, am I? No, you're not breaking the law. I never said you were breaking the law. It's just that whenever you know people start walking closer to you, it is and okay you get... for me to do it. That's what you said. Okay. Did you just say that just a few minutes ago? Okay. Yeah. You know, you're good. Yeah. You said if it's, if it's illegal, then it should be done. No, you're Where's good. Not fine, sir? No, you're good. It's just that, like when we walk up Bring behind on. police officers, y'all say like, no, it's for officer safety. Uh, automatic doors right there, straight across to the parking deck. Are you upset, upset or mad or anything? You Are you like mad or upset or something? Did, hey, uh, did somebody like rain on your parade today or uh, you didn't get the time <laughs> off you requested or something or like, what, like oh, are you upset about something or you? Are you upset? Me? No, I'm pretty calm. I think I've been pretty calm this whole time. Wouldn't you agree? I have. Yeah. No, I'm saying I have. I've been I pretty have. calm. 
We've both been fine. very calm. Exactly. We should pat ourselves on the back. We should, sir. That would make good video, would it? Uh, it would. You know, it would make. Uh, you know, make a really good story. What's that? Being left alone, so we can gather our content for our story. How about no? How about we don't put you back in that situation where you're bound to antagonize and cause another disturbance within a privately run business where you can be trespassed and arrested? How about that? Yeah, that'd be a great video. You want to be left alone? Yes, of course. But don't the people that work here want to be left alone? I wasn't bothering them. How do you know? What bothers them is what bothers them. Not, it's not from your point of view, it's from their point of view if they're bothered, right? Yeah, but a and camera from your can't, point of view, but, a camera your can't, but, a, but standing with a camera, it bothers them. Then they should work in a private sector where nobody can come well, in. in a private office. Yeah. This is owned by the people. No, it's not. It was owned by the Birmingham Airport Authority. But the taxpayers don't pay it? No. Nope. They get it no paid, funding? It paid by, well, the taxpayers fly and, they, and the uh, airlines pay the airport authority for the privilege of flying in and out of here. You know. Oh, okay. So if it's all privately funding, why are y'all here? Oh, come on now, Rusty boy. You can't be that damn stupid. Oh, wait. Yes, you are. If you ask that freaking moronic question, because the job of these police officers is to protect and serve the public, which means responding to calls like this. Even if they're just a little bit of a nuisance, they have to respond to them if called, you piece of shit. If you can't even understand that simple concept, dude, then how the hell are you able to navigate your way through anything in life? Because that should be just common damn sense, you sorry little son of a bitch. Okay, okay, I need to calm down before this guy pisses me off even more. So let's just go ahead and skip on ahead to the point where they are... Well, trespass from the building, shall we? Many, many minutes later. Good afternoon, guys. How are you guys doing today? Good. So, um, at this point, I'm Desmond Underwood. I'm the operations manager here at Birmingham hey, International Airport. Desmond Underwood. Desmond Underwood. So, at this point, you guys are not trespass from any inside, anywhere inside of Birmingham Airport Authority officers. Okay. okay, you guys are free to continue to, to film out here in the public. But anywhere inside the offices, from now on, it's a, it's a permanent trespass. Okay? okay. Can we have some paperwork for that? No, or you cannot. Is that, is that coming from yeah, that, 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 that is a Birmingham Airport Authority. Yeah. 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 They'll, they'll, they'll do that for oh, yeah. you. Oh, yeah. What was he talking about? I couldn't hear him. Uh, so they have a case, though. They have a case, but we don't get any paperwork. So, no. Okay. Does he want the airport? Yeah, but that's up to him if he wants to expose who he is. Yeah, that's up to him if he wants to expose. But. Yeah, just for uh, as the parker for the BAA. Okay, what you name, sir? And what's your badge number, sir? Three two zero. And do you have a body cam? I do. Ah. They don't issue the lieutenants on both. He does. He's got one. He's yeah, got yeah. Got one. yeah, yeah. He's so, but that's a good one. I, I just wanted to make sure that you guys understood that. Just for the Birmingham Airport Authority officers, you guys trespass from those locations, okay? Well, congratulations, uh, McRusty and wife. You have now have both been trespassed from all the offices in the back rooms of the uh, Birmingham airport, but you're still free to roam around the uh, common areas of the airport. Uh, so congratulations, you two. You are a pair of freaking morons. Uh, you, Rusty Boy in particular, should have done your research on this uh, building and uh, not make yourself look like so much of a freaking moron to begin with. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?